Pretoria's drought-stricken areas is our reporter, Patricia Visage. Patricia, good afternoon. Tell us which are some of the areas that are affected. Good afternoon, uh, Alicia. Now, of course, we know that uh, the uh, current devastating drought situation in the country, of course, uh, is a national problem. But, of course, uh, the Deputy uh, Minister of Agriculture, Begit uh, Kwele, uh, and his uh, team today targeted uh, areas around Tswane, uh, areas around Pretoria, like Hammanskral. And in Hammanskral, they went to two areas. They went to the Gilogye and Stunk Vater areas, respectively. And uh, there, of course, uh, the minister uh, engaged with uh, various uh, small uh, farmer or, or rather commercial farmer stakeholders uh, where he updated them on the current drought situation in uh, the country. He also supplied them with, uh, you know, various drought relief uh, supplies, such as a feed for their livestock, and uh, we also saw some of uh, the uh, residents, rather, of the Stunk Avatar area being supplied with a borehole. And uh, they expressed, uh, you know, great relief and um, happiness for the borehole, saying that uh, they have had uh, severe water challenges uh, in recent months. And uh, they believe uh, that uh, this newly supplied borehole in the area will, of course, uh, bring great relief and also be able to make sure that the community does uh, benefit from uh, clean uh, running water in the area. Look, uh, Patricia, I know yeah, uh, that uh, you just mentioned that they held uh, some serious discussions there. Did they include any sh uh, sort of uh, short-term uh, uh, compensation plans by the minister and his team? The minister did say that uh, there's a huge uh, fund that is available for the various uh, commercial farmers you know, around uh, the country. And he spoke about, uh, you know, in the tune of about a 30 million rand that is available. But obviously, that money is not just given to any farmer. There's, you know, there are programs and uh, review processes where they visit the various uh, drought-stricken farms to see, you know, what exactly is uh, their plight, uh, what uh, losses have they endured, and how exactly can government give them aid in the form of a feed, water supplies, and, uh, you know, some financial relief where it is needed. So it's not really, um, you know, that everybody will benefit. Mm -hmm. Of course, it will uh, depend on each individual situation that will have uh, to be assessed. And based on uh, the assessment uh, results, uh, the money would be made available and the various, like I said, uh, relief um, intervention programs would uh, be supplied to the various farmers uh, in the areas that uh, government is uh, visiting. Of course, uh, this is an ongoing program as uh, since the, the, the drought has uh, affected the country since last year. Um, of course, the Deputy Minister did uh, highlight uh, that he is visiting four provinces, Gauteng being the third one, and of course uh, they targeting the Western Cape uh, next week where they will be embarking on similar programs and similar relief strategies to affected farmers. Very areas. quickly, Patricia, how soon will the, uh, these assessments commence? Well, it's an ongoing process, so it's not something that will start uh, uh, any time. It is actually, as I've mentioned, it is uh, something that has already started mm -hmm. last year since uh, the drought started affecting various farmers in uh, the country. So it's been ongoing, and uh, government has been, uh, you know, visiting the areas on an ongoing uh, basis. Like uh, today's uh, visit was basically. A, a you know a, a revisit to uh, the area, so it, uh, it it's 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 really a visit um, where government is doing a follow up meeting at mm. the various areas. They have been to Amman Scroll earlier this year, and today we saw them going back to see whether their intervention uh, plans are paying up, and uh, you know, and also to see whether the recent rain that we have seen, uh, of course, the country being blessed with, yes. is actually giving or bringing some sort of relief to the various drought-stricken areas. Thanks for that update. Patricia Versace, live to us on the line from Pretoria.